Jain to everyone. Uh, my name is Vikas. I'm an assistant professor at uh, uh, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Uh, the topic on which uh, I will be delivering lecture today is uh, classful and classless uh, IP addressing is there. Uh, in this uh, lecture, uh, I will be discussing what is a classful uh, IP addressing are there and what are the classless IP addressing are there and uh, why where, why the these classful uh, IP addressing are being uh, not widely used uh, as comparatively to the uh, uh, classless IP addressing are there. Okay. So, uh, going on to that. So, uh, first thing is uh, what is IPv4 addresses are there. Uh, when you say uh, any systems uh, that is being connected uh, or a network are there, uh, there must be an uh, address uh, has to be provided to that uh, systems or node or any machine is there. So, that they can uh, or the networks they can be identified uh, by the by the uh, routers or service providers are there. So, that they can will be helpful in order to send or receive the data is there. So, identifier used in this IP layer of the uh, TCP IP protocols uh, suit to identify the connections of each device uh, to the internet that is, uh, is called uh, internet address or IP addresses are there. So, uh, a, an IP address is basically is a 32 bit address are there. I am not going to details what are the various uh, uh, stacks are there in the IP addresses are there. So, I am mean, just discussing the how we uh, the uh, classful addresses are. So, in IP addresses uh, we have a 32 bit address that uniquely uh, or you can say universally uh, define uh, the connection of the host or the router to, uh, to the internet are there. So, the IP address uh, is the address of the connection uh, not to the host uh, to the routers uh, because if uh, a device, let us suppose uh, one device uh, is the one network is there, they have given the IP addresses to that device is there. When that device is connected to another uh, network is there, then the uniquely new uh, address has to be given uh, to the uh, that devices are there. Uh, so, in this case, the IP address will be changed in this case are there. So, IP addressing is uh, are you can say unique in the sense that each address uh, basically specify or you can say define uh, uh, that they are the only one and uh, they are uh, connected to the uh, internet are there. So, in this uh, address space plays an important role are there. Uh, in IP uh, in uh, 4 uh, that define the address has the address space are there uh, and address space what is the address space? It address space is the total number of address used by that any uh, protocol used by the protocols are there that is TCP IP is there. Let us suppose uh, if a protocols have a B, uh, B number of bits are there uh, to define the addresses are there. So, uh, in that case the address space must be uh, to keep our B is there. Okay. So, uh, as uh, these B uh, these bits can have the different values 0 and 1s are there. So, in IPv4, uh, we have a 32 bit address uh, schemes are there, which means the address space uh, is 2 to the power 32, or, or you can say uh, this 4294, 4, 967, 296 are the uh, address space uh, that can be allocated, uh, or you can say allocated uh, in this uh, or the internet that by the IPv4 are there. How we are going to uh, or you can say define or you can show or you can say uh, you can read these uh, IP address reports are there. Uh, there are three ways we can do, uh, read it are there. Uh, these uh, addresses are schemes are there. One is binary notations base, uh, base pure 2 is there. Uh, then we have a noted uh, sorry dotted decimal notations are there. Uh, then we have an decimal uh, notations are there. Here in this binary, we have the number of bits uh, are being represented in the form of either 0 or uh, 1s are there. Uh, in dotted, we say it is a numerical way of representing the IP addresses are there. Let us put 128, 
11, 3 and uh, 31 are there. So, in which we place the dot, dot are there. So, 128 dot 11 dot uh, 3 dot uh, 31 are there. And another way of uh, uh, representing these addresses, hexadecimals values are being given. And uh, now we have to convert into the uh, into the uh, these uh, binary values are there, and then we have to uh, or you can or we can have to convert into de uh, decimal values. Then we can identify what kind of uh, uh, IP address is there. And uh, as in this uh, IPv4, uh, we uh, this divided into the two classes are there. Uh, IPv4, uh, sorry, uh, class full and classless are there. First, I will discuss classless. Uh, sorry, class full is there. Then we, I will discuss the class uh, classless. So, as the uh, these addressing are hierarchical in nature, uh, uh, so we generally divide this into two parts. Uh, one is uh, prefix, another is uh, suffix are there. Uh, in IPv4, address uh, also hierarchical divided into two uh, parts are there. So, th so uh, the first part is basically is your prefix is there, uh, which defines the uh, network is there. Second part uh, uh, of the address called the suffix is there, which defines the how many nodes or you can say how many devices are being connected over the internet are there. So, in this example, we say this is the 32 bit is there. In, in this uh, 32 bit, uh, first n bits say uh, if, if we say this is the uh, right side in the left side are there, right, in the right side n bits are being called uh, prefix are there, then uh, rest values that must be divided subtracted from 32 minus n, then this will define the suffix are there. So, uh, prefix generally define the uh, the network address of that or you can say the uh, of the any given IP uh, or any network is there uh, that uh, the first address must be uh, defines with the help of the uh, prefix is there. So, prefix defines the network ID uh, what is the network ID uh, through which we can uh, identify that the area then uh, within that area how many nodes are being connected are there that, that has been defined in with therefore hierarchy uh, in the addressing are there. Then we have a class full address uh, when the internet has started the IP4 has uh, was designed with the fixed uh, length prefix are there but, but that prefix uh, fixed length uh, are not uh, will not able to means uh, were not able to uh, accommodate the small and large networks are there. So, they uh, instead of fix uh, length prefix, they divide into three uh, prefixes are there. Uh, these are the uh, n is equal to 8, n is 16 and n is uh, 24 are there. How they are do it that will be discussed are there. Uh, then uh, we uh, device, divide this uh, address space into five uh, classes are there. Uh, a, a, B, C, D and E are there. So, this uh, schemes is referred uh, uh, as an, a classful uh, addressing are there. How the this uh, 8 bit, 16 bit and 24 being defined, they basically uh, signifies ki, uh, is there, ki, what is the suffix value is the, uh, uh, the network ID is being de defined with the help of any is value is there 8 uh, uh, with respect to let us suppose uh, for any class is the let us suppose is A is there. And n, power, n is equal to 16 will define for the uh, class B is there, then n is equal to 24 is defined for the class C is there. And what about the D and E are? Here D and E are uh, not divided into any uh, or you can say that does not have any uh, uh, fixed length prefixes are there. The, the, they are used for the future uses are there. So, uh, in this uh, class A network length is 8 bit. Uh, uh, the first bit which uh, is 0 is define the class. Uh, so, generally in, in this case uh, we say uh, if we let us suppose uh, as, we, as this is a 32 bit uh, addressing schemes are there, we divide into 4 octets are there. Each octet is for the 8 bit. Okay, 
So, in this 8 bit, uh, let us suppose uh, we have a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 are there. So, first bit in the class A is uh, represented by the 0, it means the first value uh, here uh, in this uh, 8 bit is uh, uh, start with the 0 is there, that is fix is there. Then in this case, uh, so uh, n is equal to 8 out of that one value is subtracted then n value is uh, 7 is there. So, we can say that 2 to power 7 is equal to 128 uh, that, that networks uh, that can we have the in the class A addresses are there. So, class A network length is 8 bit, but since the first bit which is 0 define the class, we can have only 7 bits as a network identifier which define the identify the network. This means uh, there are only 2 to the power 7, 128 networks in the world that can have the class A addresses are there. Then we have a class B is there uh, where network length is 16 bit, but uh, since the first two bits uh, here in this case are oh, 1, 0 is there. So, out of 16, uh, 14 bits are being left where which are being defined uh, as a 2 to the power 14. Uh, which is equal to uh, that is uh, 16384 networks uh, uh, in the world that can have the class B addresses are there. So, uh, in the class C, uh, the first three bits again uh, it is being defined uh, as, as an 110 is there uh, and here in class C we have the n value is 24 out of 24. 21 uh, is there means 3 bits has been subtracted which as they are being predefined and the, the, these values cannot be changed. So, all the address start with the uh, 110 belongs to class C. In the class C networks length is 24 bit since the 3 bits define uh, are being fixed. So, we can have only 2 to power uh, 21 bits are uh, can be used for the network identifier is there. This means that 2 to the power uh, 21 which is equivalent to this networks in the world that can have the class C addresses are there. And the class D does not divide into prefix or fix. So, it is used for the multi class address are there and the all data start with the 1111 are there uh, in the binary belongs to the class C E E is there. And in the class uh, D is there, we uh, define the first four bits are 1, 1, uh, 0 are there, uh, which are being fixed there. Uh, in a class D and E, uh, uh, as I told you that they are not divided into positions of fix and it is being used uh, as a reserved are there. Okay. So, uh, this is the address space is there of 32 bit. Out of that, uh, this 32 bits is there, uh, 50 percent uh, is being used for the identifying the network, not and uh, this is not uh, network is there and uh, 25 uh, percent across all over the world we have uh, uh, class B networks are there and 12.5 uh, percent is used uh, are being used uh, by the all over the world is uh, class C networks are there, then we have next D and E uh, are uh, remaining are there. So, generally uh, as uh, we already discussed uh, that uh, it is being divided into uh, prefix and uh, suffixes are there class. So, in class A first 8 bit is being used for uh, network identifications and the rest uh, a 24 bits are being used for the uh, giving to the uh, certain uh, network values or, or, or you can say uh, the devices are there. In class B uh, as in class A the first bit is 0. So, it is being fixed. In class B you have a 1 0 is there and the rest value is being uh, used as prefix and this is fix are there. In the class C we had 1 1 0 prefix of, of the 6 uh, that is 8 24 bits are there and 8 bits are being used for the uh, providing the IP addresses to the uh, other devices are there. Then D is for use for multi class addresses and reserved for the future use in the class E are there. So, so uh, if these are the basically defined the uh, IP addresses are there. 
so uh, how many ip address that we can define with respect to a is there as it is an n bit so first uh, we we can define the network ip addresses from 0 to 127 is there as b is n, n is equal to 16 bits so we can define the network identifier from 128 to 191 in this class uh, class b uh, ip addresses can be uh, given uh, in between 128 to 191 are there and uh, for the class c ip address must be start from the 192 to 223 is there and then uh, d is as there is no uh, prefixes there but uh, we can uh, provide the ip address from 224 to the 239s are there and in the class e we have the uh, uh, provide the network ip address uh, from 242 to the 255 are there so they will 0 to 255 are there the ip address can be allocated uh, with the help of this uh, classful uh, IP addressing are there. So, what are the advantages of classful addresses are there? Uh, uh, for any given, we can uh, in this first thing is we can easily find uh, the uh, first thing class of the addresses is there. Uh, how we identify? For, we have to either uh, mm -hmm. we have to see the what is the uh, first uh, number. Uh, if you say in uh, decimal is there, uh, let's suppose it, it, it is 91. Uh, start with the IP address 91. We can say this is class A is there. If we if we start uh, the first uh, network identifier address is 150, then this is class B is there. So we, uh, given an address, we can easily find the class of the addresses since the prefix of length uh, of each class are fixed are there so we can uh, with the help of that pr uh, prefix length we can uh, identify or we can find the uh, class of the ip addresses there uh, in other words prefix length uh, in the classful address is inherent in the address are there so uh, we if we identify the prefix value then we can able to uh, identify the suffix values which can uh, we can able to identify how many uh, ip address can be allocated to the uh, diff uh, different devices are there but the, as these are the having the certain advantages uh, but they are having, having the certain uh, disadvantages are there uh, as uh, in the classful IP addressing are there, lots of uh, IP addresses are being wasted. Uh, we uh, generally uh, the uh, address scheme is being categorized according to the uh, the classes are there. Uh, let's say class A IP addresses are being generally is being given to the large companies uh, across the world, which is having the uh, networks across all over the world are there. Uh, then we given the IP address to 128 companies organizations are there then uh, in class B we uh, used to give the IP addresses to the uh, mid size and small size uh, companies are there then uh, in the class C we are giving to the uh, smaller uh, companies or individuals in order to uh, provide the IP addresses are there. but still uh, the IP addresses are being uh, wasted in the classful uh, addresses are there. So, due to that reasons, uh, these uh, class uh, full IP addresses are not widely used or they are being depleted in there. Uh, so, the reason is uh, or you can say they have become obsolete uh, there. The reason is address uh, were not distributed properly. Internet was faced uh, with the problem uh, of the addresses being rapidly used up resulting in the no more address, addresses available for the organizations and individuals that need to connect to the uh, internet are there. So in the class A, the class can has only 120 organization in the world uh, which can assign but still they uh, it does not mean uh, that they have the uh, presence in in each every uh, countries are there. So that will again lead to a uh, uh, wastage of IP addresses are there. Class B where it will be designed for the uh, mid-size organizations but many addresses are still uh, are wasted here or you can say unused there. In class C having uh, having the complete different flaws in the design the as uh, class C is uh, in the class C the first uh, three octets that is uh, 24 bits are being used for the identifying the network is there 
so we have the remaining 256 uh, any or, or you can say 8 bits are there 2 power 8 256 are being left uh, which are very uh, small in numbers so uh, again uh, this problem leads to an uh, or you can say obsolete or you can say address uh, are being depleted and uh, due to that regions uh, they are not widely used here uh, in order to overcome it they we uh, we use the subnetting or supernetting are there uh, that will be discussed separately is there but uh, due to that reasons uh, these address classful address are not being widely used there so we move from class uh, full to the classless are there so in classless addressing uh, the whole address space is divided into variable length uh, blocks are there it doesn't mean here we have a fixed length in classful but here in classless variable lengths are being there uh, the prefix uh, of the address defines the block which signifies the network id the network identification is there so, and the suffix define the, uh, the the nodes are there which are being devices are being connected to the uh, internet are there uh, unlike in classful addressing uh, the prefix is uh, uh, in the classless addressing is variables uh, uh, variables are there and uh, this uh, variable length can be uh, in between 0 to uh, this uh, 132 uh, is there they uh, this uh, we can have the values there that which is being called mask is there uh, so uh, size of the network uh, uh, is inversely proportional to the length of the uh, prefix are there uh, uh, smaller the uh, prefix means uh, we have the large network is there uh, if the larger prefix means we have the smaller uh, network server So, uh, how we are going to define the uh, prefix or you can say mask uh, values are there for that we use the slash notations is there uh, in the classless uh, IP addressing are there. So, first question we need to answer in the class L addressing how to find the prefix uh, length if the address is given is there. Since the prefix length uh, is not uh, inherent in the classes we need separately give the length to the prefixes are there. So, in this case, uh, let us suppose uh, prefix length is n uh, in the address of the scheme then has to be uh, defined uh, separated by the slash are there. So, that is this is the notation generally is referred as uh, your, your uh, classless inter domain routing or you can say CIDR is there uh, which is being uh, this notation is being used where we uh, provide the uh, mask for the given uh, values are there. So, this is the 8 bit, this is the 8 bit divided 8 bit and 8 bit are there and then by using the slash uh, we define the pre prefix value is there. So, it means uh, let us suppose we have a uh, here is the value let us suppose in this examples we have about 12 point uh, 12.24.76.8 uh, is there and uh, we have a uh, prefix length is 8 means the first 8 bits are being fixed here and the rest are being used for the uh, providing the IP address to the devices are there and this eight, first 8 bit is being used for the network identification is there. So, here in this uh, next <coughs> example we have a 12 bits are being uh, prefix length is there. So, uh, 8 bit plus uh, 4 bit. Uh, is being used here for uh, as a uh, prefix are there and this remaining is being used for the uh, IP address to the uh, devices are there. Then we have in another example we have 25 are there. So, 8 bit, 8 bit, 8 bit are 24 are there and the first 3 uh, octants are being used. Then 1 bit from the, uh, the other the last octant are there. So, in this case these uh, uh, 24 bits, uh, 25 bits are being used for network identifications and remaining are being used for the providing the IP address to the uh, other different classes. So, <coughs> given any address in the blocks, we normally like to know the three pieces of the information about the block in which the address belongs to there. <coughs> uh, first thing is we have to identify the what is the number of addresses are there. Uh, what is the first address in the block and the last address in the block are there. In order to identify the number of address, 
uh, we say n is equal to n is equal to 32 minus n is there. Now, for the identifying the first address, we keep uh, uh, the n leftmost bit and the set the uh, 32 minus n rightmost bit to the 0 is there. To find the last address, uh, we keep the uh, left uh, n leftmost bit and set n uh, 32 minus n rightmost bit to the 1s. So, let us take examples how we are going to define it. So, first uh, address that we can found keeping in uh, the first 27 bit is there and changing the rest of the 20 bits. So, let us suppose this is the IP address is there uh, where we have enough, uh, 27 bits are being fixed and the rest are being uh, used for the identifying the uh, giving the uh, IP addresses are there. So, first thing is we have to convert into binary uh, values are there. So, 167 will be this then uh, 199 this, this and this are. So, we have to uh, fix the 27 values. So, 8 plus 8, 16, 16, uh, 16 plus 8 is your uh, 24, uh, then 25, 26, 27. So, it means these value, in these values, we cannot do anything. Either. So, they will be fixed here. Now, we have to change the values in order to identify the first address in order to identify the last address are there. So, what we do? We, uh, we uh, can uh, use this fix. Now, we can uh, put the value as a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is there. That will be defined the first IP address of there. If we have to identify the last address, then we have to convert into 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 other, then we will define the last addresses. So, if we uh, say the first address is here, we have converted into the uh, that uh, 0, 0, 0 are there. So, uh, the last address cannot be found keeping the 27 bit and change the rest of the bits to the 1s are there. So, here we converted into 1s are there. So, this will be uh, given to the uh, as a uh, last uh, IP address. Uh, so, 82 is there, then uh, <coughs> 82 is the IP address and in this IP address, first IP address is the uh, this one and the last IP address is this one. Is So, in, in, in between these 64 to uh, 95, we have the number of uh, IP address that can be allocated. Okay. Another, there is another way to do it uh, for the uh, identifying the first and last bit is the, the three things that we have to do, the, uh, we have to take into con uh, consideration as we already discussed previously. Uh, the number of the address in the block, we can use the uh, not mask here in this case and the, uh, the first address in the block, any address, we can use the AND operator is there and the last, we use the or operator in order to identify the uh, first and last IP addresses. So, another way to find the first and last block is to uh, use the address mask is there. So, we use the uh, three bit wise uh, operators are there, not, and, and or are there. In this examples, we have this is an IP address is there, uh, uh, where we have the uh, 28 uh, is the mask bit. So, uh, first 28 bits are fixed and the rest uh, values bits are being used for the uh, finding the first address and the last address are there. So, this is the, by using the AND operations, uh, we perform the uh, first address are there. Okay. So, if you have 111011 is there, then this will generate the uh, first address is there. The first address can be found uh, by ending the given address with the mask. Ending is here done uh, by the bit. Resulting ending two bit is one. Both uh, the bits are one and resulting is zero. Otherwise, are there. And the last address can be found by the oring the, uh, the given address with the com complement of the mask. Oring has been done bit by bit. Result of the oring uh, two bit is zero if the both bits are zero is there and the result is one. Otherwise, are there. So, complement number is found by changing uh, each one to 0 and 0 to 1. Sir. So, in this way, we can also uh, uh, another way to identifying the uh, first bit and the last bit of the uh, addressing in the class uh, classless IP addressing. Uh, here, 
we uh, further on move ahead uh, as the uh, in the uh, subnetting are there subnetting is another imp uh, important topic in the uh, classful or classless ip addressing are being used uh, in order to uh, accommodate the unused uh, ip addressing are there uh, as in the classless also uh, the addresses are being uh, so can be uh, certain uh, scenario where they are being unused for in order to uh, overcome that, we can use the summating there. So that will be a different topic there. So uh, thank you for this, and uh, I hope you identify this information. Uh,